go in and say, Bill, we test your house. Um, and mm-hmm. we, we like to think in spectrums and ratios. So uh, a blower door where the, the blower door reading is equal to the square footage. So, Bill, how many square feet your house? Uh, roughly 2,100. Okay. So if your blower door was about a 2,000 or 2,100, that's pretty good. That's like a C plus. So it's not amazing, but that's oftentimes enough where HVAC alone can fix things. Mm. Where the odds are we'd test your house and it would be a two to one or a three to one ratio. So you'd have a 4,000 or 6,000 blower door. Um, until you test the house to know what that is, you don't really know which direction is the correct direction. What's up, guys? So I got Nick Adams outside right now. I'm about to do a home performance test on my 127 year old farmhouse. And I am ill prepared. I'm just getting a couple things set up, so I can record this whole process for you. All right, let's go see what's going on. All right, guys, I think they're here. Somebody just pulled up. Oh, and I forgot to do dishes today. Holy crap. I think that's them. What's going on? See, this is why I need somebody to do a home performance test. I don't know why my house is so drafty. <laughs> Your front door just opens. Actually, yeah, because the, uh, the door doesn't really close unless you put the deadbolt on. There you go. So what's up, guys? Everybody, this is Nate Adams. Howdy. And Adams Howdy. Nate. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Cleveland. Cleveland. Yep. And Adam is from Chicago. They drove all the way here today to do some stuff to my very old, old house. That you guys are gonna get a tour of. So, go ahead. Right all right, let's go. Right it is nippy. It's getting a bit nipply out. Yeah, this lighting is, is awesome for videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should. Let's open up. Uh, let's get as much natural light in here as we can. See, if I would really knew what I was doing in the YouTube world, I'd be prepared for this. Yeah, this is why we're all here. Your floor is cold, I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's why I'm not like you standing on your cold, <laughs> your cold floor. <laughs> that's sucky. But yeah, this house is a view. See, this is why I want to uh, do something to my heating system. I'm curious just how weak your she's going to be. Oh, she's going to blow her, blow her test off the charts. <laughs> Heard from particle count. It actually, um, a lot of them like estimate. You're talking about lasers. Sensors and that. So this is actually measuring particles. Yeah, this is measuring bar- the particles going through the laser beam. That's awesome. Um, so that's right the there. Accurate. That's Nate Adams. He's gonna whisper to my house today. Well, I, I won't whisper to you though. He's gonna whisper sweet nothings to us. <laughs> I tried calling you too on the way here. You tried calling me. You. Yeah. yeah. Check your missed calls. Interesting. Because I was calling because I was up at McDonald's. I'm like, man, I might run late. Uh, oh, I got your... Uh, Nate's going to the other room because he doesn't want you to see him eating. Exactly. Well, I'm done. What, uh... It, this, this is my book, um, for what it's worth. Um, but uh, it's full of lots of pictures. Um, and the, the... So now this book you put together specifically for this HVAC 2.0 system, correct? Uh, no, I didn't. I, I wrote it because I thought it needed to exist. Mm. Uh, so this is basically building science uh, 101. So what drove me nuts was I was reading a bunch of like Allison Bale stuff um, and Joe Stebrick. Uh, I would buy this book just for that cover. Well, you get, well I'm giving it to you. So nice. uh, I'll sign it for you here shortly. Nice. But uh, it, all the stuff that I saw on building science, it was really complicated. So, it, it, there was no way, if, if you assume that you know nothing about building science, but you're an intelligent person, there mm-hmm. was no way to get up to speed. So I wrote this to, to do that. Um, and then ironically, the second chapter in it, um, not the first, uh, that's HVAC 101, that has become the sales tool. So like Adam, anytime you talk to somebody, email them a copy of that. 
Okay. I, mean, I get. Like, I, get I don't care how you touch them. Give them a copy. Mm-hmm. Uh, pressure. We actually get the house to, but normally it's fifty pascals is the the, the pressure that you depressurize them to. Yeah. So when you do zonal uh, pressures, if it reads zero, it's all the way inside the house, and if it reads fifty, it's all the way outside, because you're creating that pressure difference with the blower door. So you're pressurizing the house depressurizing. or no depressurizing Sorry. the house yep. and then if you do the zonal test like you close the door and it should pressurize to where it was before oh uh, it'll, it'll help you see how leaky that room is it's not a perfect number by yeah. any means but it'll it gives you a good start baseline uh, it'll it'll show it if you shut the door it will show it's a little bit less le- leaky yeah well it'll, it'll show you how close to outside and inside it is. So like, uh, the, if this house was a two and a half story and it didn't look like it was from the outside, um, but say, yeah, uh, no, say you have a third floor, yeah, you got sloped attic, ceilings kinda. and all that. Um, the attic spaces up there are almost always a 25 Pascal. They're right in the middle, mm-hmm. which is 50, 50, it's half in half out. So I don't care if something is in or it's out, but it has to pick one. And so the zonal pressure helps you understand, like you, if you um, check a room and it's 10 out of 50 pascals, that means it's 20% connected by pressure to the outside. Hmm. Um, so 10 divided by 50 is 20%. Not sure why it's so confusing. Yeah, I'm sorry. So it, the key thing is it helps you understand, is it inside or is it outside and by how much? Uh, and that gives you your starting point so that later, if you do a bunch of upgrades, mm. you can check that room again and see how far you got it down. Mm. And at some point, you're just like, that's good enough. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Because uh, nothing's ever going to be completely in or completely out. Like that's do, you, do you like block off or tape off the door or you just shut the door? You just shut off. the door. Like it's, it's not like it's perfect, but it's a right. repeatable test later. Yeah. yeah, like here, I have a door like right upstairs, like right at the entrance to the upstairs oh sweet so we can close the whole second floor yeah all right that's gonna give us a really big difference so okay. that'll be good to find out cool. uh, and th- this basically just helps you understand where are the big problems mm-hmm. so it's just a diagnostic check like you all are used to doing when you go find a broken piece of equipment mm-hmm. um, so uh, i don't even know what the measurement is when a capacitor is bad what are you checking microfarad okay so y- you have an idea just by pulling that measurement if it's shot or not yeah um, and so this is kind of a quick and dirty, there's, there's lots and lots more diagnostics that you can do, but the comfort consult is mainly about relatively quick and dirty diagnostics to help understand. So what's, what's the path, you know, we can go this way or we can go that way. And this helps us decide which fork we take. Hmm. It's not the complete diagnostics uh, process. It's yeah. just pretty good. It's not like this is your smoking gun, fix this, all your problems go away. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, in houses, they're so complicated anyway that uh, we find a lot of people are going around. They're like, well, I got my little trim nail hammer. You know, dink, 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 mm-hmm. dink, dink. Let's see if that fixes it. It's like, mm-mm, sledge. Yeah. Uh, so it's just, how many times are we going to hit with a sledge is basically what it comes down to. I only want to hit it a couple times. Well, ideally, see? if you do it right, you do it once and you're done. You don't have to think about it anymore. Well, kind of segueing, see. So over here my old plaster walls, you seem to think like the outsides are like um, drilled and then foamed in, you think? Or it's probably cellulose, cellulose is what they used. Is it cellulose? So that's not like spray foam then. Cellulose is just like that. Uh, it's newspaper. It's 85% newspaper. Oh, so like I was telling. Uh, fire retardant. Who was I telling? Was I telling you that I was going to stuff my walls full of Kleenex? Yeah, yeah, that was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were messing around. So yeah. I wasn't very far off. Not at all. Uh-huh. See, so they really are basically stuffed with Kleenex. So in order to like better insulate the walls, and maybe we can get into this later, but uh, I've often wondered if, because I'm going to have the house resided at some point and tear off all the layers. <clears throat> and, oh, okay. You're going to get rid of the wood? The wood siding? Yeah, like I don't even know what's underneath. Like there's wood over here, aluminum over here, and then asphalt shingles underneath some parts of it. Yeah. So I don't even know like what's underneath that. Um, There'll be but wood underneath it. Just like most likely. Yeah. Well, just like the little bit that's on your front porch. Yeah. It should all look like that underneath. Oh, somewhere. Interesting. So take that wood off. Maybe. Or just put foam over. So that's a solution. 
Yeah. Uh -oh. So there's a lot of different ways that can go that depend on your budget. That's that is an ungodly expensive project there. So, oh, to take the uh, like the boards off. I mean, if you're gonna take all the boards off and then resheathe the house. Um, oh, you're probably not gonna do that. Uh, I mean, I only got a budget. And then reside like that's saying? that's fifty grand if it's a penny. Thirty three uh, bucks. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. And, up to and including $43. <laughs> so I was under the impression that when you leave, Nate, all of my problems will be fixed today. Is that not how it works? You didn't read the email. <laughs> I didn't read that book either. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why you send emails to uh, what, what to expect. That's right. Take a look. It's in a book. And if you didn't read it, well... Well, Not there my goes problem. there goes my hopes. I told my wife all our problems are going to be fixed today, so <laughs> I guess that's not going to happen. So hopefully she's smart enough not to believe you when you say something like that. Well, I will not respond to that comment right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So order of operations, at least. So I, I, we probably just want to do like the the comfort consult and run you through everything. Um, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to read that thing you sent. What, HVAC 101? That whole thing. Yeah. Damn it. Should I have read that? Yeah. Um, Can you give me like the 10 cent quick tips? 